Hey friends, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts, and today I've got a video that you guys have been asking for forever. I am finally counting down my top five Tunisian crochet hook sets. Now I do have links for all of those sets below, and if you purchase something through those links, I do get a small commission, but please know that I purchased all of these sets with my own money and nobody cut me a check to say that their hooks were good when they're not, so please believe you are getting the 100% truth based on my own experience. Now let's jump right in. At number five is the Addy Click Ultimate Tunisian Hook Set. The full system comes in a see-through zipper pouch. The hooks themselves come in a black faux leather pouch, and you get eight hooks in the set, including a 3.75 millimeter, four millimeter, four and a half millimeter, five, five and a half millimeter, six, eight, and nine millimeter. The smaller hooks are made from what feels like a brushed aluminum, and the larger hooks are a thick resin with glitter inside. Hook lengths range a bit, with smaller hooks being closer to six and a quarter inches, and the larger hooks measuring 6.75 inches. Also in the set are the Addy Heart Stoppers, which are a fancier version of other cord stoppers. This set also includes three of Addy's coveted nylon cords, a 24 inch, a 32 inch, and a 40 inch cord. Addy's unique click system means that you can connect cords and hooks together easily. Simply align the groove of the cord connector with the indent in the hook. Slide them together and then give the hook a slight twist. Do the same for the heart stopper and you're ready to start crocheting. I got my hook set from a Vogue Knitting Live event a while ago, but it's basically impossible to find the set put together like this. Instead, you have to purchase the hooks, the heart stoppers, and the cords separately. Altogether, the set is gonna run you about 93 bucks on Amazon. Now there's a lot to like about this set. And first off, we'll state the obvious, they are gorgeous hooks. I'm one of those makers that really values the aesthetics in my tools, and you can't get much more pleasing than gold hooks. Another thing to love is how flexible the cords are. Knitters have been praising the Addy Turbo Lace cords since the beginning of time, and now we crocheters can get in on the action. Lastly, I really like how long the hooks are. Normal crochet hooks are usually around six inches. The extra bit of length makes these hooks much easier to handle while crocheting. So there's a lot to like about these hooks, but there is a reason that they're number five in my book. The main reason is that these hooks are essentially boy crochet hooks in Tunisian crochet form. The tapered neck, the shallow and rounded hook head, I, I honestly just can't. I'm a Susan Bates girl through and through, and I can't get my hands to move properly to make these functional for me. Another thing I don't care for is that the brushed aluminum on the smaller hooks can be a bit slippery, especially when you're working on larger projects. It's a little tough to get a handle on the hook when it's covered up with loops. And then lastly, it's just kind of annoying that you can't purchase all the elements of this set together. Uh, while it's not a total bummer, it's just a bit inconvenient, given how all the other sets we're exploring today have the necessary parts in one pretty little package. Now let's move on to number four on our list, which is the Knitter's Pride Dreams Tunisian Crochet Hook Set. All the pieces of the set come in this clear plastic case with a button closure, and each hook has its own little sleeve with the cords and stoppers in their pocket in the back. Inside the set, you get eight hooks, three and a half millimeter, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, and an eight millimeter hook. The description of the hooks simply says that they're a polished wood, but there does seem to be some kind of thin coating on them. And all of the hooks clock in at about six inches, which is pretty standard for a crochet hook. This set comes with four thin plastic cords, a 24 inch, two 32 inch, and one 40 inch. Each cord is color coded in a shade of neon so that it's easy to identify. You also get a set of black end caps, some cord connectors, which allow you to create longer cords for bigger projects, and you get keys to help tighten the connection between the hook, the cords, and the end cap. To connect the hook to the cord, manually screw the hook onto the cord first, then insert the key into the cord to help further tighten the connection. Be sure to stash those keys back in the package. You're gonna need it when you disconnect the hook from the cord as well. And you can get this full hook system on Amazon for around 40 bucks. The price does fluctuate a bit. I originally got my set for $38, but at the time of filming, it was going for $40.85. Either way, it's still cheaper than the regular price, which is closer to $60. The very first thing I loved about this hook set when I bought it was the pointy hook head. When working Tunisian crochet, the pointy hook makes picking up the stitches really, really easy. The deep hook makes it easy to hold those stitches on the hook too. Also, whatever mystery wood these hooks are made from, it's lightweight and smooth to the touch. Overall, these are my type of hooks when it comes to just traditional crochet, and I really appreciate that they're available for Tunisian. 
Now on to the things that I don't love about these hooks. As common as it is, I hate, hate, hate the key tightening system used in this set. I never feel 100% secure about the connection between the hook and the cords. I'm constantly twisting my hook and my cord while doing Tunisian crochet and the cord has come loose from the hook more than once. I can usually catch it before all my stitches are lost, but I'd rather just not worry about this in the first place. I also wish Knitter's Pride would have put in a little more effort with the packaging. Now you can call me vain, that's fine, but this plastic pouch does nothing for me me. And while we're on the topic of aesthetics, can you tell me who thought it was a good idea to pair jewel tone hooks with neon cords? I mean, it's just not my favorite combination. And then lastly, the cords themselves are pretty stiff when they arrive. You can easily remedy that by dipping them in a bowl of hot water. But let's be honest, I'm lazy and I really just want everything to be perfect straight out of the package. At number three on our list is the Chai Gu T-Spin Tunisian Crochet Hook Set. The set comes in a pretty black and red zipper pouch, and when you open the main pouch, you'll reveal 11 crochet hooks, including sizes 3.5 millimeter, 3.75, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6, 6.5, 8, 9, and 10 millimeter. Each hook is in its own pocket, so they're easy to grab when you need them. And the hooks are made from high quality bamboo, and they measure about 5.7 inches, which is slightly shorter than average. In the front pocket of the pouch, you'll find the Chaigu Twist lace cables, two 8-inch cables, one 14-inch cable, and one 22-inch cable. These cables have the size and length etched on the metal connector, which is a really nice touch. These cords are known for being smooth, flexible, and never kinking, and I can truly attest to that. To join the cable to the hook, manually twist the hook onto the cable as best as you can, then use a the key to further tighten. Now these hooks are gonna set you back about 130 bucks retail, but they're usually on sale on Amazon and are currently available at $109. Now I really love the extended sizes available in this set. It's pretty rare to find a hook larger than an eight millimeter in a Tunisian crochet hook set. And since you're usually going to use a hook that's one to two, sometimes even three millimeters larger than normal for Tunisian crochet, having the expanded sizes broadens the range of yarn that you can use. Now I find that I'm falling more in love with bamboo as a crochet hook material the more that I use this set. These hooks are extremely lightweight, which reduces the strain on your hands and wrists while you crochet. Now there doesn't seem to be a coating of any kind on these hooks, yet each one is incredibly smooth and it glides through the stitches. I also love the slightly pointy hook head on these. It's not as pointy as the Knitter's Pride hooks, which prevents them from accidentally splitting your yarn. Now the biggest downside to these hooks for me has to be that darn key tightening system. I just don't like it, though for some reason I feel like the joint is more secure in this Chaigu set. And it kind of weirds me out how sharp the keys are. You could really hurt yourself, so be careful. If anything, I'd maybe recommend using a key from another Tunisian crochet hook set instead of the keys that are available with this set. Now, if that key tightening system wasn't enough, Chaigu made the whole thing more complicated by having different sized screws on their larger hooks versus the smaller ones. Now, the set comes with cables for the smaller hooks, but you have to attach an adapter to the cable to be able to use the larger hooks. Now, I tend to mainly use larger hooks for Tunisian crochet anyway, so this is honestly just an added inconvenience. And as nice as these hooks are, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that massive price tag. I mean, $130 is a lot of money to spend on crochet hooks and these just aren't impressive enough to me for the money. I do find myself using these more and more since I purchased them to make this video, but my wallet is honestly still a bit mad at me. <laughs> now, if money is no object when it comes to investing in your craft, then this makes for a solid Tunisian crochet hook set and have at it, girlfriend. Holding down the number two spot is the Tulip Carry T Interchangeable Bamboo Tunisian Crochet Hook Set. Ooh, it's a mouthful. Okay, this set comes in a metallic faux leather case with purple accents. Inside, you're gonna find each hook nestled under its own elastic band, and there are 10 total hooks, and they come in sizes three and a half millimeter, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, eight, and nine millimeter. This is the only set I found with a seven millimeter hook, and that is definitely a plus for me. The hooks are light colored bamboo, and each one is a standard six inch length. 
The center of the case has a white mesh pouch. Inside the pouch are three thin plastic cords, a 24 inch, 32 inch, and a 40 inch. You also get two gold end caps to keep your stitches from falling off the hook and one adapter to lengthen your cords as needed. You'll also find a couple of metal tapestry needles and a handy gauge tool with a built-in yarn cutter. To join the hook to the cable, simply tighten the screw and you're set to go. No keys necessary. These hooks carry the heftiest price tag of all hooks mentioned in the set, setting you back a whopping 160 bucks. Ugh. Now my favorite feature of the Tulip Carry Tees set is the unique cord system. Not only do they connect easily with no additional tools, but the cord can rotate independently from the hook. No matter how much you twist and turn your hook, the cord will never loosen. This perk makes it easy to swap out to longer cords as your project grows. I'm also a fan of the shape of these hooks. The point is just sharp enough, the hook head is just deep enough, and the hook is just long enough. If you're a Susan Bates girl like me, these hooks will feel like coming home. Another point for the Tulip Carry Tees is the added gauge tool. Not altogether necessary, I know, but it does eliminate having to carry scissors for cutting the yarn or a tape measure for measuring gauge. This little touch makes the set just a bit more special for me. Now with all the good comes the bad, in this case, the really bad. First off is that price tag. I mean, $160 is a lot of money for crochet hooks, no matter how amazing they are. And believe me, they are amazing. Some of my absolute favorites. On top of the price, these hooks are pretty tricky to find. I got one hook to try at a yarn convention. When I decided I wanted to set, I combed the internet for a place that sold them. I didn't have much luck, so I asked my local yarn store, which luckily carries Tulip products. She was able to get me a set for 130 bucks retail. I did find one website that does sell them, so you can get them there also. But if you like these, Clover makes a very similar set, which I was able to find on eBay for just 65 bucks. The number one hook set in my heart has to be the Denise Interchangeable Crochet Hook Set. The hooks come in a blue plastic clamshell case, akin to those old Disney VHS tapes, and the nostalgia of it is truly endearing to me, so the packaging is a plus in my book. Open the case and you're going to find a neat row of plastic resin hooks. You get 12 total hooks in this set, which is the widest range I've seen. Hook sizes include... 3.75 millimeter, 4 millimeter, 4.5, 5, 5.5, five 6, 6.5, 8, 9, 10, 12, and 15 millimeter. These hooks are a little on the shorter side, measuring only 4.75 inches long. The set includes seven cords, two three inch cords, two five inch cords, one nine inch cord, one 12 inch cord, and one 16 inch cord. The cords are made of a thick plastic. Each is held down in a plastic mold inside the case so you don't have to worry about your cords becoming unorganized. This set also includes four end caps and two adapters to lengthen your cords. To attach your cord to the hook, insert the cord into the bottom of the hook and give it a little twist. You'll feel the cord nestle into place to create a smooth and effortless connection to the hook. So I got my set from Amazon two years ago and even did a product review. I still got that video up, which you're welcome to take a look at. I put a link down in the description. Now, at the time of filming this video, this set is not available on Amazon, but you can get the set from the Denise website for $50 or a similar set, the Denise To Go Complete Set in pastel or bright for $70 on Amazon. The biggest selling point of these hooks for me has to be the price in comparison to what you get. 12 crochet hooks in sizes all the way up to 15 millimeter is nearly impossible to find. Add in all the cords, the end caps, the connectors, and you've got a lot of elements for a great price considering what you get with other sets. Another thing these hooks have over all the others is the thumb rest. This little detail makes going from traditional crochet to Tunisian crochet that much easier for beginners. I get asked all the time how to manage a hook with a lot of loops on it, especially when you're first starting out. Having the thumb wrist gives your hand a natural orientation, which will keep your hook from rotating too much when you crochet. And finally, I really appreciate how easily accessible replacement hooks and cords are. Over the last two years, honestly, I've lost three hooks and needed longer cords for bigger projects. I was able to get cords using Amazon Prime for dirt cheap, and I replaced my lost hooks on the Denise website. They arrived in about three days with a little note and a coupon code for my next purchase. So no hook set is 100% perfect and the Denise set is no exception. The most glaring issue for me is the length of the hook. It seems like Denise sacrificed hook length for packaging because 4.75 inches for a hook is really weird. I can use the smaller hooks 
just fine, but gripping the larger ones can be a bit of a task. I have big hands, so working with heavy yarn with such a short hook gives my hands cramps after a while. I really do wish all the hooks were at least six inches, and it would be nice if the larger hooks were even seven or eight inches. I also find that the cords are a bit stiff at first use. Now the longer cords in the case are bent, so you have to spend a little time unbending them before you can start crocheting larger projects. And finally, and I'm being a bit nitpicky here, but I have had a join come loose for me once or twice, but that's in two whole years. I know it's mainly user error, but if you put too many stitches on too short of a cord, it puts a strain on the join and it may come loose. To keep this from happening, I just use a slightly larger cord or I use a connector to put two cords together. Look, I know I am a little bit biased towards the Denise Interchangeable set. It was the very first set that I purchased and it's the set that I use that helped me fall in love with Tunisian crochet. I'm not mad that I found a product that I love right off the bat and I still use those for just about every single project. So if you're brand new to Tunisian crochet and you're not quite ready to invest in these sets right here, I'm gonna suggest these. This is a set of 12 fixed Tunisian crochet hooks. They're about a foot long and they're really great for those starter projects like ear warmers or pot holders. You can kind of think of these like training wheels for Tunisian crochet and then once you kind of get the hang of things and you're ready to invest in a nicer set, then you can go with one of the five that I talked about today. I've got a link in the description to these. They run you about 10 bucks. And then there's also a set of kind of starter corded hooks. So if you wanted to get some practice in with corded hooks, again, before you go to one of the more expensive sets, I've got a link in the description for those too. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I would also love it if you drop down into the comments and let me know if you've tried any of these hooks and which of them are your favorites. Well, until next time, I'm Tony. See ya.